I'm Aima. Well, welcome back to another video in our series of converting our patio to a three season sunroom. It's been two months since I've done the last video and we're doing this video because our three by three vinyl window finally came in. We've been expecting this window since November, which has been prolonged because of a lot of delays. They actually said this was going to come in June, but thankfully we've got one now in February. And today we're going to do this video because we're going to install this vinyl window, which we'll do in a separate video, but we're going to take out our temporary double casement window. And in the process of doing this, we realized that we didn't do a video on how to actually build this. So while we're taking this out, we figured that we'd give you some ideas on how to build a temporary double casement, which means once that swing out, window. In our next video, we're going to be replacing it with this final window, which is a, sing is a single hung window, which means only one uh, slide goes up and down, as opposed to a double hung window, which means that both sides go up and down. So uh, stay tuned for that one and check that out after this video. So this double casement window can be either temporary, like we've done here, or it can be something permanent that you add on, like we did with the chicken coop, which we might visit later in the video. All right, never mind. we're just gonna do it now. This is our chicken coop, and right here we have our casement window. And you can see that when we open it, we get access into our uh, chicken nesting area, which if you're interested, go check out our videos on our chicken coop to see exactly what we did for our playground in order to make this. But this is a sort of a, permanent thing that we've added to our chicken coop. It's like um, something you'd put on a shed. And the thing about this is that if it's something that you would put where you only need to access it from the outside, or if it's temporary, then you can just put the hinges on the outside. Now, if you're installing this for a house or somewhere where people are gonna be occupying the inside, it's better to have the hinges on the inside. But let's go back. My dad also wants me to point out that this plank right here, or this piece of wood, can also be used as a stopper. If, if we just leave the uh, uh, window on without this stopper, it can actually go inside. I mean, except for the hinge right here that just stops it from going inside, but let's assume that the hinge is more, like, gives it more leeway, it can go inside. So this acts as a stopper to make sure that the window is flush with the outside. To test this, we're gonna take the stopper out. stopped on this side by the wood but you can see it goes in quite a lot probably about two inches so it's important to have the stopper i use it as a handle and it's probably good to have a handle if the window is flush so you can't really get a, a grip of it but of course just having that plank of wood or a temporary handle is good to have and of course if you're doing it from the inside make sure you put the handle on the inside and the handle all right so we're going to move this uh, other side of the double casement window and this is probably going to be sped up. Okay, and now lastly, we're going to remove this temporary frame. So there are eight screws. Um, this is just a temporary frame, so we don't need to secure it as much. So this might have actually been overkill. But then again, we've had this frame up here for about two to four months. I'm not sure exactly how long and it's had to withstand like blizzards and storms so it's probably good that this was secured uh if let's say you're keeping this up for like one or two days probably don't need to do as many screws okay yeah this one was hard to uh take out because of uh the flashing tape making it very tight in there but anyway now we have the four bars of the frame out. So now we have our flashing tape frame for our vinyl window to install. All right, so that's it. That's um, really our video on giving you ideas on how to build a double casement, a temporary double casement window for your whatever use you want, like ours, chicken coop, or a thesis and sunroom. You could use it for your house. But uh, really, this wasn't a how-to video. It's more like a, a vlog for my friends, my family to see progress update on how we're doing with the sunroom because we started this progress uh, this uh we started this project last year and we've encountered quite a lot of problems and delays with it like uh the pandemic ca causing the materials to all to cost quite a lot and with this window especially a lot of delays so i hope you enjoyed and if you're interested in 
knowing more about our project, go check out our other videos. I think our last video was installing the door right here. So go check that out. We'll link it in the description below. And see you then. But for now, I'm Ayman and signing out.